So if y'all don't know, I'm at Lowe's. You can tell that right there, right? So I'll turn y'all around in a minute. Uh, I'm gonna have the inside of the cave video at the end of this, but I'll give y'all some details. I am in Missouri. What's the name of this city? Hold on. I'll let y'all know the name of the city. Rolla, R O L L A, Missouri. I'm not a fan of McDonald's. And they got a McDonald's. So I did Subway. And I got a Buffalo chicken wrap. I'm going to turn it around. I was going to say, I got me a shower here because I have a shower. And they got laundry in here. I don't know if they do laundry here because they only got like four machines. And I got at least two machines worth of stuff to do. Weird hair bump up here. Alright, so here's the deal. I went to the caves, as y'all saw. I've never been to the caves. Um, and the inside was real interesting. I'm going to show that video at the end. That load, I was, I got there like at 8 something Cali time in the evening. And I didn't get, they didn't get me done until 4 a.m., 4, 18 a.m. the next morning. So I hadn't really had a lot of sleep because I was trying to stay awake in case they, um, in case they call me um, to the to the to back in the door, so around four something in the morning is when they called and they finished. Um, a three three or four. It, was, it didn't take them an hour to load it. They loaded fast. It was the wait that was the longest part. And then when you come out the cave, you come up on the upper part of the mountain. And I just then put myself in a personal conveyance and headed to um, headed to a truck stop. Um, was needing one with a scale, so I headed in the direction of where the load was going to eventually be going. And I found this ghetto TA. I, I don't even know the name of the city. Was. Oh, I know what the name is. Hold on. I'll tell you the name of the city. It was... No, that's not it. It was... Ugh. Is it Mount Vernon, Missouri? I think it was Mount Vernon, Missouri. I, I can't remember. That might be it. Um, and I, it was a tea. I thought it was gonna have a restaurant in it. It had like some little chicken thing. The 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 fish was good though. They had like catfish fillets. Those were fried pretty good. And um, they had a subway. I didn't go into the main building. It was an old old. Old, like it's privately owned, and they had the TA name. <coughs> I wanted eggs and I wanted breakfast. And I didn't get that. I had two fish fillets, but it's okay. It's okay. And I'm here at Love's because it's where I had, well, I had to, we swapped the loads. So my load that I ended up, they swapped my Florida load and they gave that to somebody else because I didn't want to go into Florida. So they gave it to a team because it wasn't going to be there on time. And then they sent me to with the load that those people were supposed to get. I went ahead and had an empty off the Lancaster yard. And I sent that load all the way to, or that empty trailer. I got it washed out and I drove to caves here in Missouri. So I did head into the caves. That load is supposed to go into North Carolina. And I had already sent a message. I'm like, I'm going to explain to y'all, this load is not going to be on time. Because I'm not going into North Carolina in a hurricane. No, I'm not. So I was going to shut down in Nashville. Because I have people in Nashville. So somebody can come pick me up from any truck stop. So I got cousins. I got an aunt. My aunt who's a school teacher. And I, I'll be a guy. The hell Shannon will be in the storm. No, I won't. Especially this big of a storm. What's really even ass backwards, y'all, is my company has not put crap on the Qualcomm to at least... Nothing came to my Qualcomm warning about the storm. And I just said something, and they know about it. And I think they're doing that because some of these babies, is a starter company. These babies don't know to check the weather. And they sending these dumbasses into this East Coast in these storms to get, uh, it's really just ghetto. I, end of the year. End of the year. Because I'm just like, that's so inhumane. And even, even if you don't care about the human, care about your damn equipment, because it's going to be flooded. <laughs> Crazy as hell, man. So, at this point, because really what they should do is say, guys, we 
We're going to only pick up freight. We're going to move on the drop yards or to, uh, what do you call it, terminals in the vicinity. We're not going any further east of this because this storm is going to impact these areas. My dad even said, he said, the railroad? He said, they would have shut that crap down. He said, we have some kind of major storm. He said, they... They got every engine they hood and hauled all that freight, everything, and they contacted the customers and they said all your freight's gonna be waiting. And he said everything from West Texas, New Mexico, in the middle to avoid some kind of storm that had come in with some hurricane. He said, Don't play. Because the loss of that freight is expensive. He said, and they lose you know, losing lives and all that. He said, No, he said, We we don't play. But anyway, it's these trucking companies. So um Excuse me, y'all. This load right here, I came from the cave. It's supposed to go in the Maryland. I told her, I'm not, I mean, the North Carolina said I won't go because North Carolina is the direct head of this hurricane. Or the Carolinas in general, both Carolinas. And we're talking 100 something mile winds, the latest truck right over. And flooding, and they kept talking about swells, and how to swell, and they don't know how far inland this is going to push. So right now, I'm in Missouri. And I think I'm going to I'm gonna wait it out in Missouri because this thing is going to go all the way up. It's going to hit really North Carolina, but it's also affecting the whole East Coast. So parts of Florida, all that's being affected. So at this point, I get I go to sleep and God watches out for me. And I, I really am grateful to him. And I well, I get to the truck stop and I was like, OK, do I drive further? Because I was going to go into the Carolina into Tennessee. And I'd already contacted my people. I'm like, look, I'm going to be at this truck stop. Y'all want to come get me, but I won't be going any further. I already let these people know. <laughs> I ain't going no further because this stuff is supposed to be coming in Wednesday and Thursday. All of a sudden, next thing I know, I get a phone call once I get truck stop. And I went on and went to sleep because I, I hadn't had any sleep. And I thought she's calling me because I put off duty for because if I'm not if I'm not doing anything I'm off duty. You know, I sit there and on duty eat my clock. So, uh, my driver manager, I said, look, I said I have any sleep. I said so I'm going, I'm in sleep first. She said oh, I'm sorry to me to wake you up sleep first. Sandy, I was like, okay, what's up? And she said, well, she said that load you have, do you mind giving it away? And I said, okay, what's going on? So she said, I said, not really. I said, because I told you, I'm not going. She goes, um, I got a driver who called because his daughter is pregnant and she's in the Carolinas. And they need to get home so they can make sure that they're okay or get them out of there. I'm like, oh, yeah, hell yeah, he can have his load. And so and I, I said, she said, he's in St. Louis. And I was like, okay, I said, but I'm not going to be able to leave until I get some sleep because I'm done. I'm, you know, I'm kill somebody's tired. I hadn't had any sleep. I had two almost going on day two. And I was like, I had no sleep. I said, I was up, you know, for like seven hours waiting on these people to call me back. I said, and uh, by the way, don't forget my detention pay. And she said, oh, no, no, I won't. I said, okay. I was up like seven hours. I said, so, I said, I'm letting you know. I said, I'm not touching anything on the East Coast. I said, now, I'm sitting with your load in the middle. But I'm not... You got to find somebody else to drive it. I'm not going anywhere near the East Coast right now. Not until this crap passes. No, Shannon will not. So, she's like, yeah, you told me. I said, yeah. So, this guy told me, he said, yeah, he said his driver manager, which is, I dealt with her before, he said, she told him, she's like, we're, we're pretty much trying to hit people west. And she says, and out of the area, I'm like, yeah, I don't know if I buy, buy that can cup of tea. Because here your load is going up on the East Coast. And I think they're just telling you some bull. And uh, I said, nope. You know, like I know, you need to sit and wait. So, um, we swapped tonight. I took his load, which is some strawberries, some frozen strawberries, and even three pallets on the back. And uh, he took my load, which is... Cheese is like for it's going to Walmart DC, it's like 40 43,000 pounds in the box. So he took that and uh, 
Yeah, yeah, you'll be praying for his family. His name is Jody. So praying, tell him, I said, well, I'm praying for you. And I said, get your kids and get the hell out of there. I said, you don't even, don't even sit there and try to tempt that. These people tell 130 mile an hour winds and swells. I mean, the water's coming in, and that's pushing some major water inland. They say they don't know how far this thing's going to go. And it ain't going to die down until, like, Sunday, Saturday or Sunday. So, I might be hanging out here somewhere in Missouri. I'm trying to decide if I'm staying here in Love's, which ain't crap here. Or if I can find me another truck stop or something. But I'll, I'll find something on the way. But Shannon ain't going. Yeah, I'm good. And, uh, you know, it might be a reason I didn't go. Because apparently that might even go into Tennessee, the area that I was, I was planning on shutting down at. So, but anyway, I am butt tired, y'all. Um, I'll put the links up for the video. I just got a shower. I'm going to eat my, whew, excuse me, eat my little buffalo wrap from uh, Subway, and I'm taking my butt to sleep. You guys be blessed. Be safe. Um, we'll talk about some stuff later. But be blessed and be safe. Oh, he's going to pre-trip. Anyway, peace out, y'all. Oh, uh, when I'll put some videos up at the end. Oh, I got a new hat. I stole it from my dad, y'all. So from dad. What y'all think? I like it. My new hat. I like that. I stole it from him. I did. I stole it. So he got one of our cousins left it. Left him two. And then he had a brown one and a black one. So I stole this one. I thought that was tight. Anyway. Two and two. Y'all be blessed. Alright y'all, I am inside the cave, and that over there is where I came in. There's a little officer's check in. He's backing in right there, and I don't know if y'all can see, that's how close I am. And I had to back around that pole, or that rock formation, and then I had the rock formation in front. And it was a side side back, kinda, but I had to pull up all the way up to that pole up there that pole up there and then bring it all the way around that second pole into this hole so this crap is tight as hell um and then when i leave i gotta go that way Let's see i can see my finger that way like the sign says and i have to lock my um I had to put my tandems on the rear. But the guy, I have a, a yard dog here named Matthew. He was really sweetheart. Um, and uh, he helped me, kind of guided me. And he hung on the mirror and showed me how to get it in here. You have to go up like two rock formations to do it. Anyway, I'll give y'all more later.